And I'm just coming along this track here, which is where I had all the trouble with the dogs scratching traps out. Actually, no, it was the next gully up, but I had traps set here the other week. And I come here, had a bit of a shower, a few spits of rain yesterday. There's been a big dog along here this morning, or since the rain yesterday. So, I think it might only be one set of tracks but uh, not sure because see there's a big track and there's one that's a fair bit smaller and then there's another one there so there might be two dogs I'm not sure I'll have to come up here where it, I haven't driven yet You can see that big, a bit smaller, the big one, big one, big one. Might have to bring some traps over here again too. So come along here, there was a fair few dog tracks. This is where I was catching the dogs. Caught those three dogs in the last trap and run. And so I've, there was a heap of dog tracks back here again. So I've just put another one back in the same spot there. And then I've, that big one I held up the other day, I've kept a bit of his blood in a bottle, put some sodium benzoate in there to preserve it. And I've just put a little bit of that up the top there just to see whether that's enough to stop them and keep them interested. And I'll come up, I've just got a camera. I'm going to set it up here. So it should be looking over here just to see, see if we can get an idea what's going on. I uh, come over here yesterday and checked this other new trap I tr set here where he caught these other ones that other, t other last trap and run and I got the trap in there and the dog had come and stood here and stood here and not on the trap and I got the camera over here and I got a picture of the dog I accidentally left it on photo mode instead of video got one picture of the dog he was coming around there and then another one, I don't know whether the same dog or another one, he's just going back onto the track this way. So, I don't think there's any more tracks here yet from this morning. Just sort of iron it out a bit and see what happens tonight. I'm going to go and I set another two traps over in the, the other block earlier, or yesterday afternoon. So we'll go over and check them. There's a lot of dog tracks over there on them. So we'll hopefully we got something over there. We'll see you down the tracks. I've okay, just been to check these traps near the carcass pile again. And there's been, been a pig rooting around here last night. Out there, heifer. Um, there's a big, biggish boar. I'll put some footage up. You can see what he looks like, but the dogs haven't been back. I don't think they think the cow's too rotten now to interest them too much. So I might leave the traps here for another night, and if they're not here tomorrow morning, I might pull them up and I'll put them somewhere else probably. Right, I'll keep going and go and check these last two traps up a couple of k's up further. Been no dogs over here. So, it's probably not a bad thing to let the scent get away for a few days. So, anyway, we'll see what happens tomorrow. Well, I'll just come down through this gate over here, and I see there's um, dog tracks under the gate, heading down this track here, right up, up the lane here. They're going right past this old tree, so I thought I'll stick a trap 
just down in here. I put a bit of war paint just in there next to a bit of scat and tie it off with a cable around that bit of a stick there for a bit of a drag but if it'll be heavy enough they won't be able to take it anywhere. And hopefully if they just come plodding through here they should be able to just pick up a bit of a scent blowing through there from the wind and go around here and get in there for a better smell. So that's the plan. Righto guys, I'm just going to go and head out to um, go and see if I can find a, that pig that's been coming into the pile. So I've got my thermal scope and rifle tonight and on the 2D3 to see if I can go and find him or maybe even a cat or a dog or something else. Be good. Anyway, I'll see you out there. Well, that sneaky mongrel pig. I come along here in the ute. I parked probably or 200 metres away over the rise of the hill so he couldn't see me coming and sort of downwind of him as well and didn't know he was at the pile snuck up there nothing there had a look at the camera and he cleared out from there about 10 minutes just before I got there or before I walked up so I reckon he must have heard the ute coming and he's poked off before I even got a look at him. So I'm not even exactly sure which direction he's gone because I saw which way he went in a scrub but I don't know if he kept going out to the open paddock depending 10 minutes is a long time for a <laughs> pig can go a long way if he's got the trot up but anyway not to be tonight so I might go, go back to the ute and do a bit of a detour on the way home and see if we can find anything else to shoot. I've just come along, I just saw those um, three pigs just near the boundary fence and I don't know whether I got any. I just come up here on the top of the hill, they've got a couple of pigs down here. Um, so I'll go over and see if we can get one of them. Here's the three pigs we got. We got a bit of an eye popper here. <laughs> we got the mother and these other two little little sour piglets. The other two have just gone over the hill here. I don't know whether they've cleared out after I had the shots, but we'll go and check them out. Well, 
that plan worked out well. Just come up over the hill from where I shot those other uh, the sow and the three little piglets and these two had just come down the, down the hill from where the others were and then they parked up and were feeding down here so I just went and had a look at the other three I shot and come over the hill and here they were so snuck down here wind was absolutely perfect and managed to shoot these two so it's three sows down, three big sows, and I didn't look to see what the little piglets were. But anyway, two to three works are right on them. So good to get a couple of pigs again. I haven't got any pigs for a long time. <laughs> so after missing that on that boar alluding me before earlier, I think I might have seen another big one just over the fence in the neighbours so but he just disappeared so I don't know where he went little sows three sows and the other two sows down there I reckon one of the the biggest sow was probably she looked like she was pregnant so good to get her out but these other other three they're a bit of a bonus I'm glad if those other ones didn't go too far, the wind was blowing towards me and had gone over the rise so they probably didn't get spooked too much so they wouldn't have known what was going on. It's the beauty of shooting with a the thermal. They sort of can't see a light so they don't know which direction the shots are coming from. Anyway, it's getting on, I better get back to the ute and get home I think. I'll see you tomorrow, maybe tomorrow unless I find something on the way home. Well, I just went and uh, pulled up my traps at the carcass pile the other day and then I left the camera there but then I just checked it this morning and took the camera down but there was a fox there last night at the pile but anyway, I don't think he even went near where I had the trap set anyway, so anyway, I'll just show you the fox and I'll keep going and check my last couple of traps well, hey guys, it's been a few days since I've been over here and set these traps and I think there were some dog tracks past it yesterday but they were going that way and my brother rang me yesterday and told me the, the neighbours did a muster over here and a chopper pilot shot a dog from the chopper while he was mustering so it could have been the one that was wandering through here anyway so but I'm sort of out of time to be doing this and it's a long way to run over here every day for nothing so there's not a lot of dog activity around at the moment so I've made a decision I'm going to pull the traps up so I might be going away maybe tomorrow down to other block and maybe start another trap and run down there for a couple of days over the, over the long weekend down there so hopefully I can pull up a few dogs down there haven't been down there for or well, since probably six months now since I shot that other dog you know, I went down there I got that one on the run out in the paddock was uh, looking at the calf anyway we're going to pull these traps up and I think we'll call it a call it a run I didn't get anything down here but at least we got those two dogs got the one in the trap and the other one we've got a few pigs well that concludes this trapping run and this video so I Hope you have enjoyed it. If you did like it, I'd appreciate it if you go and hit the like button down below. And also, if you haven't already, go and subscribe to the channel and um, hit the bell notification as well, so you get notified of any future videos. And for those of you who are subscribed, just uh, just make sure, just check to make sure you are still subscribed because YouTube does has unsubscribed people from me and as, a, as it is we're doing with a lot of other hunting channels out there as well so also if you'd like to head over to my patreon i've got the link in the description below and you can head over there and any support would be much appreciated and as always i'll catch you all in the next video